And we are, we are live. I am so happy that worked because last month's cabaret really did a number on my emotions. But yes, we are live on YouTube. Welcome, everyone. Um, something cool about this cabaret. So this is our June cabaret. And we started doing cabarets at There's No Place Like Home Theater Group last year in June. So we are officially one year of full-on cabarets. When we first started, we did a cabaret every week because we were bored and crazy. Um, and now we just do one every month, but it's still super, super fun. So thank you all for joining us. And this theme is just not my type. And this was a suggestion from Becca Cooley. Here's a shout out. And it was also voted on in our last trivia night for the cabaret. So I'm very excited to see all of these performers performing songs from roles that they don't usually get cast in. So I'm very excited for, to show off everyone's versatility. Um, before I introduce our wonderful MC, I did want to just say something super special about this cabaret in particular. Um, our very loved member, um, Liam, he recently lost his dear Nana and we are dedicating this performance in, to her memory. She loved theater. She loved especially watching Liam do theater. I did want to share a picture that Liam gave me of her. So just give me a quick second. She's so, so beautiful, so, so sweet. I am sure we would have all loved to meet her. And I don't know, any person who loves theater is an amazing person in my book. So I am so excited to do this cabaret in loving memory of her. All right, friends. So here we have our MC. She recently did Unnecessary Farce. And I saw a picture of her because I know she played a man and she did her makeup all funny. And I'm really excited to see that performance. And she was also recently in Twelfth Night, which was the gender bend Twelfth Night directed by Brianna. Unnecessary Farce was directed by Jamie. And here we have our MC for tonight. She's hosted like two other cabarets maybe i think two yeah two other cabarets before this so she's no stranger to being a host here we have tammy cook Woo! thank you tammy for being our host thank you for having me and thank you for not making me sing um now that tabitha has given me uh control and i can do whatever i want I'm going to ask people some questions when they come on and um, find out why they chose the song they chose so that you can kind of, I don't know, just kind of know what's going on. Uh, but very first we have uh, Tabitha is actually going to sing for us. She recently sang Wonderful Guy in the Dream Roll Cabaret. And so Tabitha is going to sing There Are Worse Things I Could Do from Greece. And Tabitha, why wh why that song? Uh, because I've been cast as funny characters. I've been cast as little innocent characters. I've never been the bad girl, um, probably because I look seven. So that's why I chose to sing this song because I do love this song. I think it's beautiful. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to get to sing it. Perfect. Well, I'm going to get out of here and let you do your thing. Thank you. There are worse things I could do Than go with a boy or two Even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy and no good I suppose it could be true But there are worse things I could do I could flirt with all the guys Smile at them and bat my eyes Press against them when we dance Make them think they stand a chance Then refuse to see it through That's a thing I'd never do I could stay home every night Wait around for Mr. Right Take cold showers every day And throw my life away On a dream that won't come true I could hurt Someone like me Out 
out of spite or jealousy. I don't steal and I don't lie, but I can feel and I can cry. A fact I'll bet you never. Thank you. Thank you, Tabitha. So I'm going to invite our next um, participant on, and that's going to be Liam Graham Olson and actually uh, Brianna Galligan. And they're going to be on video in a minute. Um, but Liam recently sang to Lay Hear You Sing from the Dream Roll Cabaret, and Brianna recently played Bomb Ballerina in the reading of cats and sang old maid for the dream roll cabaret so liam tell us how you guys know each other because you're in two totally different places and why you guys chose that song yeah um we literally got talking because i i got brought on to play on in uh, our recording of lame is um and i was blown away because well everybody who listens to this often knows Brianna's amazing um and we just sort of got talking and immediately said we need to do something together um so she asked me sort of what kind of things I I rarely or never get cast in and it's the romantic leads um because I don't know what it's like over there but here in England um when you're five foot six and skinny um you don't really get the the romantic leads um so I suggested a couple of romantic lead ones, and this is this is one that Brianna said she she loved. So that's why we chose "De Lovely" from Anything Goes. Thank you very much. And no Tabitha's going to share her screen because it is uh, done via small since they're in two different places. The night is young. The skies are clear. And if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. I understand the reason why you sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. You can tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance you can hear dear mother nature murmuring low let yourself go so please be sweet my chickadee and when i kiss you just say to me it's delightful it's delicious it's delectable it's delirious it's dilemma it's the limit it's deluxe it's the lovely I feel a sudden urge to sing The kind of ditty that invokes the spring So control your desire to curse While I crucify the verse This verse you started seems to be The timp antithesis of melody So spare us please the pain Just skip the damn thing and sing the refrain Night is young, the skies are clear. So if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. I understand the reason why you're sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's lovely. You can tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance. Nature murmuring low. Let yourself go, so please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, It's divine, dear. It's divine, dear. It's the wonderful. It's the victory. It's the bell. It's the limit. It's the voice. It's the lovely. So please be 
sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, it's delightful. It's delicious. It's delectable. It's delirious. It's That was fantastic. Tell Brianna she did amazingly, and Liam, you are wonderful. Brings us, though, to our next participant, and this is Sarah Watson. She recently played Grizabella in Cats, uh, multiple characters in Les Mis, uh, <laughs> the Mother Abbess in The Sound of Music, and sang She Used to Be Mine for the Robbed Cabaret. Tonight you're singing If I Loved You from Carousel, and tell me why you took that one. Um, just like Liam had mentioned, uh, I am in the same boat. I never get cast as the romantic leads um, around in this area where I do a lot of theater. Everyone kind of knows me as the character girl. Um, so I rarely even get looked at for these parts. And uh, I actually uh, was brought up with, you know, Rodgers and Hammerstein, like most of us were. And um, I actually sang this a lot when I was younger, but have never gotten to do the big romance lead so wanted to choose a classic okay well i'm gonna leave you to it okay all right let's all right let's make it work i hope i don't blow out these speakers i'm sorry if i do guys but somehow i can see just exactly how i'd be if I loved you time and again, I would try to say all I'd want you to know. If I loved you, Words wouldn't come in an easy way, round in circles I'd go. Longing to tell you, but afraid and shy. I had my golden chances pass me by. Soon you'd leave me, or if you would go in the mist of day, never, never to know. If I loved you, yay, that was fantastic. Good job. Our next singer is going to be Katie Taylor. She recently guest directed the reading uh, that There's No Place Like Home did of American Idiot. And tonight she will be singing Gimme Gimme from Thoroughly Modern Millie. Uh, and for you, why that song? <laughs> um, I guess um, I always, I, you know, I'm never going to be that strong brunette character, I feel like. I. Uh, like Sarah just said, I'm always cast as character people. And um, I actually, I weirdly played Dorothy in high school for this, but obviously I wanted Millie, but I'm not a dancer either. So that's another big thing is like some of these roles like require dancing and Millie is one of them. Yo, for sure. <laughs> so, but I really enjoy the song. But 
Well then, I will let you get started. Here again is Katie Taylor. Katie, that was Thank lovely. You. And if it makes you feel better, I saw you dancing in my head. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Our next up is Robert Howard. He has a whole list of credits. He recently played The Wolf in Into the Woods, Nostradamus in Something Rotten, Malcolm and Macbeth, Tito in Lend Me a Tenor, Joe in The Shadow Box, Leon in Assassins, and multiple characters in Shrek and Les Mis. And tonight he is singing 3090 from Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, I don't know that show at all, actually, because I'm more of an old show girl. So I don't know anything about Tick, Tick, Boom. So tell us a little bit about it and why you picked that song. Well, first of all, dang, I did all that. That's <laughs> what the set, that's what the says. <laughs> no, no, no. When you're reading it, I'm like, oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, tick, tick, boom. 
anyone who knows me well knows that I adore Jonathan Larson. He is like my sing, um, musical idol. And um, his most famous musical, you may have heard of it, it's called Rent. Um, he, I fell so in love with that. Tick, Tick, Boom is not as famous, but it's a little autobiographical piece, sort of, of his life dealing with um, trying to write musicals and become famous, or more importantly, to write something meaningful. Um, one reason I chose this is um, I'm not a rock and roll singer. <laughs> I, I, like you said, uh, I'm more into classical stuff as well. Um, but Jonathan Larson's stuff is a lot of rock and roll. So um, that know. was, yeah, that was part of it. <laughs> and also just because um, since this song is all about him turning 30 years old and still feeling like he hasn't accomplished anything yet and how much trouble he has playing happy birthday to himself on the piano. Um, I just turned 25 and I'm feeling a lot of the same things he does, that sort of thing where it's like, have I accomplished anything super meaningful yet? that sort of fear, sort of anxiety sort of thing. So I just relate to it a lot. So I was like, this would be perfect. All right. Well, I am going to let you introduce us to 3090 from Tick, Tick, Boom. All righty. If my phone turns on. Stop the clock Take time out Time to regroup Before you lose the bout Freeze the frame Back it up Time to refocus Before they wrap it up The years are getting shorter Lines on your face are getting longer Feel like you're treading water But the riptide's getting stronger Don't panic don't jump ship, can't fight it like taxes. At least it happens only once in your life. They're singing happy birthday. You just want to lay down and cry. Not just another birthday. It's 1390. Why can't you stay 29? Hell, you still feel like you're 22. Turn 30, 1990. Bang, you're dead. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Clear the runway, make another pass. Try one more approach before you're out of gas. Friends are getting fatter, hairs on your head are getting thinner. Feel like a cleanup batter. Oh, the team that ain't a winner. Don't freak out, don't strike out, can't fight it. Like City Hall, at least you're not alone. Your friends are there too. They're singing happy birthday, you just wish you could run away. Who cares about a birthday but 1390? Hey, can't you be optimistic? You're no longer the ingenue. Turn 30, 1990, boom, you're passing. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Be the pen and think about which way to never, never let Emerald City's gone to hell since the wizard blew off his command. On the streets you hear the fox has lost children, crocodiles, but you're not into 
making choices. Wicked witches poppy fields or men behind the curtain. Tiger lilies, ruby slippers, clock is ticking. That's for certain. Dancing and happy birthday. I just wish it all were a dream. And feels much more like Tuesday. Fuck 39. This seems like I'm in for a twister. I don't see a rainbow, do you? In the nine days into my hands now, the bar is passed. I want the spoils, but not too fast. The world is calling, it's now a Netherland. Why can't I stay in child forever? And 39 day, 39 day, 39 day, 39 day, 39 day, 30, 39 day. What can I do? What can I do? Well, thank you for branching out. That was wonderful. And I um, forgot to tell you that you can look out for Robert playing Joe Boyd and Van Buren in the upcoming Damn Yankees when it shows up. All right, our next performer is Dorothy Wright Sontag. She recently sang Diva's Lament for the Dream Roll Cabaret, and tonight she will be singing for you I'm Alive from Next to Normal. So, Dorothy, come on in here. All right. There you are. Hi. Perfect. Hi. Hi. And tell us why you picked I'm Alive. Honestly, um, it's very simple. I am too old and too female for <laughs> the part of Gabe, um, but I love the song. I absolutely love the song. And um, if it were something that I could do, I would want to do it. Um, but um, since I can't do it on stage, may as well do it here. Perfect. I was listening to him say, you know, he was about to turn 25 and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so long ago. I don't even remember 25. So I um. know, I know. <laughs> I, I'm 42 and, and, you know, it's, it's really funny. I had um, played Rose in Gypsy uh -huh. and um, I was a bit younger than my Herbie and we were having um, like a discussion backstage and he was talking about, oh yeah, I did this 79. And I said, oh, uh, that was the year I was born. And he's like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I can totally rel relate to him now. I was 10 when you were born because I'll be 52 this year. So. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you to your fun. Here is Dorothy singing I'm Alive. All right. Let me see. I am more than memory, I am what might be, I am mystery, you know me, so show me. When I appear, it's so clear. Oh. I don't know the lyrics. I'm me. Oh, can I start it over? I am so, so, so sorry. Hold on. You absolutely can. No worries. Awesome. <laughs> I wrote them down and then I, um, I scrolled up too much. All right. Take two. Okay. <laughs> I am what you want me to be. I am your worst fear. You'll find it in me. Come closer. Come closer. I am more than memory. I am what might be. I am mystery. You know me. So show me. When I appear, it's not so clear if I'm a simple spirit or I'm flesh and blood. 
I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm so alive. And I feed on the fear that's behind your eyes. And I need you to need me, it's no surprise. I'm alive, so alive, I'm alive. I am flame and I am fire. I am destruction, decay and desire. I'll hurt you. I'll heal you. I'm your wish, your dream come true, and I am your darkest nightmare too. I've shown you. Where's my music? Playback error? You gotta be kidding me. No! Oh no! Did it disappear? It disappeared! There was a playback. Oh, dear. And I don't know how to help you because your stuff's over there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is there somebody after me or am I the last one? You are not the last. Do you want to see if you can oh, figure it out? Yeah, if you don't mind. Nope. I'll Ugh. just move right along and I'll All um, right. just message me if you can get it figured out. Okay. It was okay, great. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. So our next performer is andrew price and he hosted the 80s party cabaret and word on the street is he is playing the piano hello andrew uh what are you playing for us um i'm just gonna be playing some music um that i got from a lesson book cool all right well enjoy and we will love it more songs perfect keep going Thank you. Do you have, is that it? You go, Do you have more? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Thank you so much. That was fabulous. All right. So Miss Dorothy, did we get it figured out by any chance? Wow. I hate that our music stopped, but. All right, I'm gonna try oh, it again. Are. Okay. <laughs> I was oh. like, I don't know what to do. I know. Okay. Um, okay, if it doesn't work this time, I'm just gonna have to go on to the next one. Move on, two, yeah. Okay? I am so sorry, y'all. That's oh, okay. My goodness. 
We want to hear All the right. end, so hopefully it works. <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh. <sighs> you want me to be i'm your worst fear you'll find it in me come closer come closer i am more than memory i am what might be i am mystery so you know me so show me when i appear it's not so clear if I'm a simple spirit or I'm flesh and blood. I'm alive, I'm alive, I am so alive. And I feed on the fear that's behind your eyes. And I need you to need me, it's no surprise. I'm alive, so alive, I'm alive. I am flame and I am fire. I am destruction, decay, and desire. I'll hurt you. I'll heal you. I'm your wish, your dream come true. And I am your darkest nightmare, too. I've shown you. I owe you. And though you may be, you can't change me. I'm the perfect stranger who knows you too well. I'm alive, I'm alive, I am so alive. And I'll tell you the truth if you let me try. You're alive, I'm alive, and I'll show you why. I'm alive, so alive. I'm alive, I'm right behind you. You say forget, but I'll remind you. You can try to hide, but you know that I will find you. Because if you won't free me, you won't leave me behind. Oh, oh, oh. I'm alive, I'm so alive. If you climb on my back, then we both can fly. If you try to deny me, I'll never die. I'm alive, so alive. I'm alive, yeah, yeah. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive. Yay, I'm so glad it worked. Girl, you win the, the persistence and perseverance prize tonight. Uh, thank you for that, it was amazing. So we have one last performer tonight. Uh, you've already seen him uh, in a, a small, and this will be another video. Um, Liam will be singing um, Any Dream Will Do from Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, Liam, tell us, Anything you want us to know? Um, well, um, it's a bit of a long story how I actually came to do this um, show, but I'll be as brief as I can. Um, I had been in a theatre group for around about 10 years, and by the end of the 10 years, I was told by this theatre group's um, main casting director to stop trying to get lead roles because I was wasting not only my time and their time as the casting committee, but also other people who wanted that role, I was wasting their time as well. So dejected, um, as you might imagine, I left and I went elsewhere. And I had a bit of a search around um, the local area and I arrived at a, a, a theatre group called Beaconsfield uh, Operatics Society. 
and they had been granted the first full London Palladium score for an amateur theatre group or a community theatre group, I, I believe you call it, mm-hmm. um, for Joseph and his amazing technical a dream court. It had been done as concerts and it had been done as an abridged version, but we had been given the rights to the full show and we were the first to get it in the country. So I went for Joseph, as you would, and I got to play the first community theatre or amateur Joseph in its entirety uh, in in the UK. So that was a big moment for me. And I only actually went to the audition um, because my nana, um, God bless her, told me uh, in no uncertain terms to basically give the middle finger to my old group and just move forward. They don't know what they're talking about, my love. Uh, You you keep going. Um, So I did and I got the role and after the show, she hadn't been to see me in quite a long time because of ill health, and she actually got to come and see me. She actually got to come and see me do this show, and in the in the bar afterwards, she told me it was the proudest she'd ever been of me. So that's why I wanted to do this one. And please tell me you set your like billing poster to that other theater group so they knew. I got a roundabout six of my closest friends from that group to come and see it which they did and i've seen every single show that i've headlined since um and they went back and basically told them they were all stupid so perfect well i can't wait to see it thank you so much for being here tonight liam thank you for having me and tabitha's going to share her screen so that we can see the video I close my eyes, drew back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew far, far away. Someone was weeping, but the world was sleeping, any dream will do. I wore my coat with golden lining, bright colors shining, wonderful and new. And in the east, the dawn was breaking, and the world was waking, and it A flash of light, my golden coat flew out of sight. The colors faded into darkness, I was left alone. May I return to the beginning? The light is dimming and the dream is too. And 
and I We are still waiting Still hesitating Any dream will do Thank you, Liam, for that. And thank you, Nana, for his, for supporting him and all of his endeavors to uh, be in the theater. And I know he makes you proud. Um, that is all we have for tonight. Uh, we hope you enjoyed everything. And um, we will see you next time. And I have nothing else to tell you. So I'm going to say have a lovely night. <laughs>